Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Today is a special day for us. It signifies the culmination of a lot of work, but also the start of an ambitious new phase. My presentation today is an invitation. An invitation to build a better future for our children and the generations to come. An invitation to change the course of things and take care of this beautiful planet we call home. An invitation to defeat complacency and the status quo and replace them with ambition and ingenuity. And an invitation, of course, to become a player in one of the biggest revolutions the energy sector has ever seen. Each generation faces its own existential threat and fights its own foes. Some confronted world wars, others were brought to the brink of nuclear annihilation. Our threat, our foe, is climate change. A relentless giant whose slow motion deceives us by hiding the crushing force of its sometimes imperceptible, but nevertheless irreversible advance. Our capacity to deal with it before it is too late is the bar by which history will judge us. Some of you may be asking yourself, what does such a small country have to do with such an enormous problem? Let me put it this way. If climate change is Goliath, there is no better place on Earth to find David than Chile. It is here, from nature, that we can most efficiently obtain one of its smallest and simplest molecules, hydrogen, to help us deal with our biggest and most complex problem. Nature, most abundant element to fight the most pervasive threat. This country, located at the end of the world, can be at the center of what needs to be done to prevent the world from coming to an end. Well, not quite, right? Since the Earth will in any case survive climate change, it is us, our capacity to sustain life on Earth, that it's a stake. Chile is so long that it crosses incredibly diverse climates. Here you can find the most extreme geographic features on the planet. 100,000 square kilometers of desert in the north, the strongest winds and the most dangerous sea passages in the extreme south, more than 100 volcanoes and the most powerful earthquakes. Our extreme geography has made our people resilient and hospitable. It is full of copper, produces great wines and fruits and offers unique destinations for tourism. But along Chile's more than 4,000 kilometers, you can find almost no fossil fuels. So except for hydroelectricity and firewood, we have historically depended on imported oil, coal, and natural gas as sources of energy. That dependence, however, thanks to our geography, is starting to change. Chile's capacity to produce electricity with renewable energy is enormous. Our Atacama Desert has the best solar irradiance on the planet, and our winds are stronger persistent, especially in Patagonia, where capacity factors can be over 60%. Our estimates show that we can build 70 times the electricity capacity we now have. Our electricity generation matrix will be 70% renewable before 2030 and 95% renewable by 2050. And we will phase out all our coal capacity before 2040. That opens many opportunities. We will use cheap and clean electricity to replace fossil fuels in transportation, industry, and heating. But more importantly for us today, our renewable potential puts us in a unique position to produce hydrogen. As you know, when hydrogen is obtained from water using renewable electricity, it is called green hydrogen. It does not look green to the eye, as my small daughter thought. It is green because its production generates no emissions. And given its special characteristics, it is the most promising solution to abate emissions in energy intensive sectors like steel, cement, and heavy transport, which are hard to electrify. Studies estimate that by 2050, 20% of the final energy demand globally will be supplied by green hydrogen that it will contribute up to 45% of global CO2 emissions reduction and generate revenues of $2.5 trillion. Even if these projections end up being too ambitious, our David will nevertheless be pretty big and powerful by then, and its capacity to replace fossil fuels 
will make it an indispensable contributor to the fight against climate change. To make these projections happen, the biggest challenge is to reduce the cost of producing green hydrogen. And when you run the numbers, as we did with the support from McKinsey and company, this is what they show. Chile is the cheapest place on earth to produce green hydrogen. Our cost of producing electricity with renewables is so low that by 2030, as the cost of electrolyzers go down, we will be able to produce green hydrogen at $1.3 per kilo in Patagonia with wind and at $1.4 in the north with solar PV. What about our export potential? Well, our geography helps us here again. Chile is so narrow that you're always pretty close to the coast. That gives us an advantage in logistics, since the required investment in transmission lines or pipelines is much lower than in countries where the renewable resources are several hundred kilometers inland. All things considered, our cost of production can be so low that it more than compensates the relative disadvantage we have given our distance from potential buyers. And because of our location at the tip of the Americas, we can export to Europe from Patagonia through the Atlantic or to Asia from the North through the Pacific. We also have free trade agreements with almost 90% of the world's GDP, a stable and open investment regime and a mature and competitive energy sector. For all these reasons, Chile is the ideal place to produce and export green hydrogen and its derivatives, including ammonia, methanol, synthetic fuels. Green hydrogen is a strategic opportunity for Chile for other reasons too. It can play an essential role reducing the carbon footprint of some of our most important export industries, including mining, replacing diesel, and agriculture with green fertilizers. It can also reduce the emissions in shipping, essential for a distant country with an open economy. To become leaders in this industry, we have developed an ambitious green hydrogen strategy that is available on our website. It includes contributions from different actors, government officials, members of the opposition, academics, private companies, policy experts, and civil society to make sure it has the broad support it requires. We have set ourselves three targets. First, to produce the cheapest green hydrogen on the planet by 2030. Second, to be among the top three exporters of green hydrogen by 2040. And third, to have five gigawatts of electrolyzer capacity under development by 2025. This means more than doubling our current solar and wind capacity. To achieve these ambitious goals, we have laid out a concrete action plan to accelerate the deployment of green hydrogen in key domestic applications by 2025 and to capture the export market by 2030. We are announcing a $50 million funding round for green hydrogen projects to help investors close gaps and create early expertise. We are giving priority to all our public lands with strong renewable resources for the development of green hydrogen projects. We are developing the required regulation. We are launching two government task forces to foster the private and public commitments that are necessary to rapidly establish three hydrogen consortiums of at least one gigawatt each. We will design and put in place quota mechanisms to scale up demand for this clean fuel, like we did in the past to push renewable energy. We will promote the replacement of fossil fuels and grey hydrogen uses within public companies. We will set up a public-private roundtable to discuss carbon pricing and other taxes. We will play an active role in solving critical barriers to improve planning certainty. We will build capacities and transfer knowledge to meet human capital needs. We will involve communities and local interest groups to ensure early and continuous participation and to increase the value that can be captured by local suppliers. But our efforts will not bear fruit without the involvement of other actors. We need off-takers, actors who create and lead the partnership to ensure demand volume. 
We need financial investors to deploy capital in this emerging energy market. We need engineering and technology for design, construction, and operation. We also need electricity providers, existing or new, and producers responsible for operating the process. Climate change is our biggest challenge, but it holds enormous opportunities. One of them, maybe the largest one, is green hydrogen. I invite you all to join us, to come down to Chile and make this once in a generation opportunity a reality. Thank you.